Hey, what's up? This is Jared. I am the premier Doritos historian, expert, taste tester. You name it. When it comes to Doritos, you want to come to me. So today, I'm going to give you a minute here to put on your 3D glasses. So I'll wait. That's right. Put on your 3D glasses. Everyone got them? Cool. So today we are talking about Doritos 3D. 3D, that's right. Now, if you'll recall, these came out in the 90s. They were around for a while into the early 2000s. The original flavors were Nacho, Cool Ranch, and then for those who like a little spicier zing, they came in um, jalapeno. So I, tr I tried these back then. I ate them back then. They're not for me. So I come, I, you, you know by now I am a Doritos traditionalist. So I like those basic flavors and I like those special flavors that I feel complement the original nacho, um, cool ranch type of flavor. Um, so I tried these, of course. I am a Doritos completist. But um, when they were first out in the 90s, I really wasn't feeling them. I felt like it was Doritos' answer to Bugles where it's got that like crispy outerness and the and a little fluffiness to them. So they, they just really weren't for me. So, if, you know, if I want a bugle, I'm going to get a bugle. And everyone knows you ate the bugle, so you can like put them on your fingers and then go... And you can't get that with the 3D crunch. It's like a uh, three-dimensional triangle. However, um, these have been out now, and I said I have to try them. Now, you'll notice something a little bit malicious about this, right? That you can't get the Nacho 3D. You can't get the Cool Ranch 3D. Now, all of a sudden, they're trying to be uh, chili cheese nachos and um, spicy ranch. So, so no, you know, basic flavors. Again, it's a departure in a direction I'm not too keen on. I don't love uh, the spicy Doritos. I tend to shy away from them. But whatever, no complaining today. I'm going to give these a shot. So I'm going to open them by my hourglass method, which if you watch uh, my other video here, that video explains my hourglass method. Which, but basically, um, you know, an hourglass is a thing that used to tell time in ancient times. And, um, you know, artisans who were familiar with sand and the chron chronological um, chronometry qualities of sand and also blowing glass and all that made these clocks out of uh, they were called hourglasses um, and they, they were for telling time but my hourglass method when it comes to chips is that you know chips they they make them they put them in a bag they send the bag down a uh, conveyor belt it goes in a box it goes on a truck and all that chip flavor and dust is dissipating down through the bag, settling at the bottom. And so what you end up with is the top chips are lightly um, dusted with the flavor. The bottom chips are just saturated with it. So I believe once you get it home, you need to reverse that pr process, flip the hourglass over, store it on your shelf like this, and then open the bag from the bottom to get a more even distribution of um, uh, flavor dust. It'll start settling at the bottom. So let's dig in. First, uh, I'm going to try that chili cheese flavor. So your 3D glasses are on, right? Whoa, 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 chili cheese. So you get a sense of the dustiness, the dusty factor on there. Let's see. Tastes like a dang bugle. But look, can't get it on my finger. That's not going on my finger. See what happens? Not quite a bugle, right, folks? Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Not too spicy. I dig it because I'm a. I, I like chili. I like cheese. I like this. It's like on my spice spectrum of acceptable spiciness. Mm. Hear the crunch. Okay, okay. I'm digging it, folks. I kind of like this. Um, 
again, it's not slapping my um, Dorito taste needs. Not a big enough triangle. It's not flat. Is this even made of tortilla or is it made of corn? You know? Doritos, it says right there, tortilla chip snacks. Corn flour is the first thing. This is more like, this isn't a, a tortilla snack. This is a, a corn snack. So, don't come to these 3D tortilla, uh, 3D Doritos if you're hoping for a, mm, a Dorito. To, it's not going to scratch your Dorito itch. It's a, it's more of a, um, more of a corn, airy corn, bugly type of itch. That said, if I wanted a bugle and their store was out, I might get one of these. Okay. So let me let me cleanse my palate. Okay, so now we're gonna try that spicy ranch. Spicy ranch. This ranch isn't enough. It's gotta be spicy, right? Marketing people, I bet, said like, oh, spicy. You can make everything spicy nowadays. Uh-uh. Okay, it's actually not that spicy. It's in my, it's in that zone. Like the, the ceiling of the level of spice I like is like Taco Bell night, not nacho cheese. This is in my spicy zone. I can tolerate it. I'm going to say, what really stood out with this one, but it also applies to this one, is not enough flavoring. Not dusty enough. It's just not dusty enough. I mean, you saw I opened it the hourglass method. Should have been adequate dust on those bottom of the bag chips. Not dusty enough. If I'm going to Doritos, I want a, a dusty experience. So, for both of these, a little more spicy than I would prefer. I would prefer no spice. I just want that ranch flavor, that cheese flavor. A little spicier, but not, at the same time, not as flavorful as I want. Not bold enough. My advice for Doritos, if you're trying to bust into that Bugles market share, you got to do what people still come to Doritos for. You got to be like super dusty and flavorful, cheesy, ranchy, amp up the flavor. Otherwise, the Bugle audience is just going to go back to those kind of weak, spiced, hardly any flavor Bugles. These are too, these are too corny. They're too... Mm, they're too airy, too fluffy. They're crunchy. I like the crunch. It's fun crunching into them and busting through that threshold of air. I'll give it that much. Okay. Spices accumulating. getting too spicy for me. Too spicy. Okay. It's too spicy. I've come around. It's getting way too spicy for me. My mouth is like on fire. So, I hate to throw shade on you Doritos, but this is a one and done for me. I'm not buying these again. Now, if you go back to the original 
um, Doritos, 3Ds. I'll try them again. Just put out nacho. Just put out spicy. And for gosh sakes, put a lot more dust on them. Like when you got them spinning around that, we're going down that conveyor belt where the dust process is. Like turn the dust notch up and just dump it all over these. You know, you want your fingers to be just like saturated in goopy dust. Oh. You want to lick your lips and just have full of Dorito dust. Like after some Doritos, you got to lick your fingers or go wash your hands or something. Not with these. No. Uh-uh. I can go right to work after this. My fingers are not dusty enough. So, final analysis. Chili cheese nacho, nah. Uh, spicy nacho, nah. They're okay. They're good. If you really want a bugle, get a bugle. If they're out of bugles, sure, try this. You'll probably like it. But uh, spicy warning, they are spicy and it's accumulative. The more you eat, the spicier it gets. I'm going to go drink a tall glass of milk. And that's it. That's my final word on 3D's. Chili cheese, spicy chili cheese, nacho, and sp spicy ranch. That's been an official Doritos expert review. Let me know what you thought about these flavors of Doritos, if you tried them or not.